Hi everyone, how are you doing? It is Phaedra here with Fantastic Budgets. I wanted to hop on and do one last mini savings challenge stuffings for the month of May. May was actually a very good month for my husband and I. We had five paychecks in it. So this last paycheck, I did take out what we would need it for our weekly uh, cash envelopes. And then I pulled out $75, which is more than what we usually put into savings challenges. So please uh, join me for this. I do have uh, a savings challenge that I started a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to be working on some other ones. So I should have $75 here. I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. How's everybody doing? This week is so wonky for me um, because we had the holiday in there. Nigel, I'm just going to move you off to the side with being off on Monday. Then at my work, we had our fiscal year end today, so everybody was stressing out to get that taken care of as well, but it is all good. The fiscal year has ended. Thankfully, we got as much done as we could, so on to the next fiscal year. I am going to go ahead and start today with one of my mystery scratch-off savings. This is from Kim over at Star Budgets. This was, I ordered this from her Etsy. And she was nice enough to throw in a couple other goodies. And she also sent some sweet things for my mini-me. So thank you very much, Kim. Let's go ahead and scratch. We're going to start with this one here, I think because that way we can kind of see how much money we have left over. And this one is for $3. I apologize, I know I'm shaking the table. So that's absolutely perfect. $3 is great for our budget here. I really should put these in order as what they are in my envelopes, but you know how that goes. Savings, May. This is roll the dice. There's 15 in there. Uh, let's see here. Goodness, guys. Uh, looks like I must have this in the wrong one. Yes, I do. I apologize about that. I am going to add $3 to this, which will give us $8 in our mystery savings. Kim does not have what the final amount will be on here, so that's great. It'll be an awesome surprise. This is going to be one of the envelopes that I will just do my scratch-out games, and then whether or not we need it to add to our buffer, or if we can just go ahead and put it into a uh, sinking fund or something like that. That will be great. I am going to go ahead and do my Queen Bee of Hearts. This is by Two Sister Bees. I believe I've just rolled one dice for this. And we got five. So we were using my pen here. We were right here. So one, two, three, four, five. It says pick some roses, some of your prize roses to have around the hive. Two dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and add two dollars to this. One, two. So in Queen Bee of Hearts, we have 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add five dollars into our pet savings. This is actually created by me 
I do not believe it is live yet on my Etsy page. Every time I think I'm ready to make it live, then I see a small update that I want to change. So let's go ahead. Let's just color our cute little turtle in green. Um, ultimately, what I will be doing with this, once we finish all 10 of the icons, I will be putting that into another binder that I have, almost as in a pet sinking fund, but there won't be any amount. It will just be utilized for my dog, and we have uh, chickens now. We still have 13 chickens, uh, little peepees, and they are growing so big. I might try to insert a clip here if I can remember to do that. We think we have two roosters, so unfortunately we won't be keeping the two roosters, but we'll still have a great time with the chicks that we do keep. So in our pet savings, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 34, and 35. So that'll be perfect. We have three more icons and then we'll have $50. And like I said, we'll go ahead and move that over to our pet sinking fund. We do have a couple dollars in there currently left over from what we paid for our chicken feed the last time. And when I was doing my count your chickens savings challenge as well. Let's go ahead and add $5 to our Bible verse. This is from Lindsay over at Little Helpful Files. I am going to go ahead and pull what I have saved so far. Um, I will should have saved $40 at the end of the month. And that way I can put that towards something else. I am going to take these four fives, grab the 20, and I'm going to add a five. So, yep, we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. And then I'll work on the rest of this over the next couple of months. I may pull it out after anxieties and then just leave it with the last two words. We could utilize these funds elsewhere for right now. So I think that would be something fair to do with them. I do want to go ahead and add $10 into my May savings. This is savings that I have every month. I have one of these. And what we will do is we will pull the money out at the end of the month, as I have been doing. And I will deposit it into the bank. And I will make a principal-only payment on debts that we have. So that way we can get them paid off a little bit faster with the principal-only payment. Color in my heart fly here. So it's just something super cute that I can do. I can change the amounts if every month I wanted to cut color every single icon in. I can make each icon worth two dollars and get them colored in in no problem. But I like this, and I'm okay with the fact that I don't get it colored in every month. So that will leave us fifty dollars in our May savings. Looks like we are up to roll the dice savings challenge. This is from Cindy Cat Budgets. Hopefully you can still hear it here. See it here. Gosh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. We currently have $5 in here. Let's roll our two dice. See what we get. All right. We got a four and a three. So I believe the four colored in with this I will be sure oh sorry about my dog bark in there I will be sure to tag all of the sorry tag all of the creators in the description box below if you guys want to hang on just a minute okay y'all sorry about that so so much so I need to add seven dollars into the roll the dice from Cindy Cat Budgets Got my money all out of order here. My goodness. Can you tell I'm off kilter tonight? This being off on Monday and I had a short week last week because we went to the mountains and then I had a short week this week. So we currently have $12 in Roll the Dice by Cindy Cat Budgets. Let's find a 
one for you. All right, let's go ahead and add $10. I know I'm all over the place, guys. $10 here to our plain white envelope. This was a challenge started by Liz at Liz and Les. Um, it is basically just taking whatever you have at home and making envelopes and your budgeting system work for you. So currently we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. Eight. Yep, exactly. We have eight weeks where we put $10 in. This is great. We will finish this in about two to three weeks. It's not always something that we hit every week, which is perfectly fine with me. I did decide to pause on my Mandela money that is made by Lisa at Lisa Grateful Me. I do have that money saved and put back, but right now I'm not going to be utilizing it. Uh, there's our mystery from Kim. Oh, let's go ahead and color something on our friends savings challenge. This is by Busy Lizzie's Budget. I did purchase this from her Etsy store and I downloaded it. I think for today I'm just going to go ahead and color in another lobster because they are one dollar. And we have a lot of savings challenges that I'd like to get taken care of with what we have. I know my coloring is terrible. I really should take a lesson on coloring. Let's go ahead and add a dollar into our friends. It says you will save 100. The one where you save 188. So we will have six, seven. We will have eight dollars in friends now. out our beavers in a bar. This is created by Liz at Liz and Less. This is absolutely adorable. I have another couple challenges by Liz, but I couldn't help it. I just had to start the beavers at a bar. Looks like we have an $8 beaver. Let's go ahead and work with our $8 beaver here. He doesn't even have a beer in his hand. So let's see. No, let's put him over here in, no, yeah, okay, fine. Let's go ahead and put him over here in the corner. It kind of looks like he's standing on the table. Maybe he had too much to drink, and that's why he's standing on the table, and they cut him off. So he was worth $8. So five, six, oh, oh. we're going to have to put two fives in and take $2 out. So in our beavers in a bar, we should have 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17. This, again, is created by Liz at Liz and Less. If you want to go over and give her a shout, she is pushing so hard to have her debt paid off by her one-year anniversary of YouTube. So we are cheering her along the way, sending her well wishes. Let's see. We did friends. We did this. Let's see here. My little peacock. So last week, which I don't think I ever published the recording, I colored my peacock in wrong. My peacock currently has $15. And when I went to color him in, I should have only colored in two, four, five, six, seven. So I still have $8 to color in for my peacock. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to color in his beak, which is going to be orange with the color pencils that I have here at my desk. These are metallic, so they won't be perfectly the right color, but I think it'll still work. So we're going to go ahead and color that in. And then I need two more oops sorry guys one dollar so let's go ahead let's color in his cute little feathers right here behind his head 
it's cute, right? It adds dimension that we have different colors of blue. This is actually for sale in my Etsy shop. I will have it linked down below. I created this one. It is slightly oversized for my envelope that I keep. I carry a sixes. Yes, I carry a sixes, but uh, it sticks out a little bit and I'm okay with that. I have resized them and put them up in my Etsy store, but so you guys shouldn't have a problem. I do apologize for the background noise. We have our windows open right now. It's fairly warm where I live, but not warm enough to have the air conditioner running yet, which will be a whole nother sound. Let's go up here to the front. I have my maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna see what we do here. This is also from Liz at Liz and Less. We have, we need to at least do one row of tech, maybe two, depending on how much we owe. If I read the, oh, sorry about that. If I read the sentence and it's a maybe, I will owe $2. And if it's a maybe not, I will owe one. So have I been on TV? That's a maybe not. Been flown in a helicopter. No, thank you. Uh, taken outside food into a movie theater. Mm. Maybe. Hated a family love dinner. That's definitely a maybe. It's my mother's pork chops. Sorry, mom. Ignored the five second rule. Maybe. Also. So let's see what damage we did here. Um, I think we can do another row. We'll just finish this in June. So let's see here. Actually, we have two more. Yeah, this will be perfect. So we have two, four, six, seven, eight. We owe eight for this week. And we got a little behind here. So spied on the neighbors. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm a terrible spy on the neighbors person. Fallen in public. Maybe. I didn't necessarily fall in public. However, went hiking last year with a group of my work girlfriends and I cannot take the heat and the sun and I get dehydrated very fast even if I do drink a lot of fluids. And unfortunately, I pretty much passed out on our hike and proceeded to leave presents of vomit all down the trail, which I felt terrible. But once you start, you have to finish. So, uh, shout out to my workers for, co-workers for taking care of me. Gotten a tattoo? No, maybe not. Spent hours watching YouTube videos? Maybe. I think we're all guilty of that. Had braces? Oh, maybe. Oh, Liz, you're expensive this week. Another $8. So, we are going to owe our maybe, maybe not, $16. What do I have here? 5, 10, 15, and 16. I will be sure to tag Liz down in the comment section below. I do know that she is offering another freebie for the month of June, which is super nice. I do not think I'm going to be working on the freebie in June because I have so many new challenges. I recently won a giveaway from Janelle Ray Budgets. I won some challenges from... Here to their journey. I have two or three challenges currently sitting in my Etsy cart. So I will not be participating in the freebie from Liz for June. But thank you very much, Liz. I appreciate it. Right now in our maybe, maybe not, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 28, and 29. Not too bad, guys. I think we're doing a great job with that. Let's see, what do I have? Let me put this away. What do I have left? I have five, six, seven, and eight. So let's see here. What do we have left? Eight. We did this one. We did queen bees. This is our pet. This is our debt payment. We did roll the dice. We did our peacock. Well, we made up for last week. Ah, our 25 envelope. 
So this is my version of the 25 envelopes with a twist. I have envelopes. Um, I'm going to be saving the numbers 1 through 25 here. And we are going to save this money to purchase a beef part of a steer for our house. So it looks like we have $8 left. And I only have a six or a nine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these two here. I am going to go ahead and color in the six. We'll save those two for our next game night. Or winning Wednesday, excuse me. Boy, I really got out of the lines with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put six in here. So let's see where we're at here. Our goal is to have $325. We are currently at 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220, 230, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. $238. Guys, that, that is so awesome. We will be closing this and finishing this in no time. We will probably restart it. I'm not exactly sure what we will do yet because obviously a portion of a beef will exceed that $325. I did want to show you what I got today from Amazon. I ordered some Happy Mail for myself. I went ahead and ordered myself a larger, a five size binder. And what I'm going to do with this is any funds of envelopes that we finish or challenges when my daughter, last time I finished the strike challenge, which is by Alicia at Hands and Bands, I decided to split that half between myself and half between my daughter. So we're each going to get our own envelope in here. It's not money that I want to carry around, but it's not money that I want to quite take to the bank yet just because something may come up and I'm not sure how we're going to spend it. My money may be used for a girl's trip weekend. Uh, my mini me's money will probably be used for her birthday. So there's no sense in putting it into the bank because we're gonna be utilizing it in just a couple of weeks. So I got this larger binder, I really like it. We'll include the link down in Amazon. Unfortunately, I wanted a binder that would ship in like a day and I could not find any that would ship in a day and had the binder pouches like these. Um, these were the best that I can do. They do have a little tab here, which I thought was kind of cute. I will probably just stick a sticky note on them or maybe put a appropriate size tracker in here to just kind of track to see what we have. Again, this is money that we're going to be utilizing in the next month or two, so there's no sense in taking it to the bank. Hey right, guys, I am left with $2. I am going to save them for next week. Maybe we can get in one more game next week. That is all I have. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me, to watch with me. Leave me comments. I know a lot of you, I've just been leaving smiley faces or, you know, just something that says, hey, I'm at work, good job, you know, something like that because... That's about when I get a lot of my video watching done. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you a little bit later. Bye-bye.